Hello, I'm Susanna Lipscomb and I'd like to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Peter. I've known Peter for over a decade. Peter is a Tudor court jester. You might have been lucky enough to see him performing at Hampton Court Palace or the Tower of London or one of the English heritage sites like Belsea Castle. And if you've seen him perform, then he will have helped make the past come to life for you. But now he needs your help. This is Pete's partner, V, and this is her son, Keir. I'll let V introduce him. Keir is full of life, but he was born with a rare genetic condition. He's almost completely blind, has severe learning difficulties, and has spent a lot of time in hospitals. For years, Keir struggled to make sense of the world, frustrated that he could do very little for himself. We could see that much more was possible for him, but we couldn't find a way to help him unlock his potential. His therapists and teachers did and still do an amazing job, but we knew we were missing something. We hadn't yet found a way that could really give Keir what he needed to grow and thrive. Then they discovered a form of neuroplasticity therapy and Keir made huge progress. Keir has gone from needing to be lifted and carried everywhere to scooting all over the house on his bottom from laying on the floor shouting to taking himself off to find what he needs. He is now loading his spoon, climbing into his bed, taking off his own socks. Keir has learned that he can work things out for himself. He's learnt to learn. He's so excited about the progress that he's making. He's already so much happier. But all the advances in Keir's health are being jeopardised. Pete earns nearly all of his income between Easter and late summer. Because of Covid, he won't be working at all in that period this year. In fact, he doesn't know when he'll work again. All he knows is it will be a lot later than most people because of Keir's vulnerabilities. V is Keir's carer, but because she registered to work part-time before lockdown began, her carer's allowance was stopped. Peter and V have been shielding Keir. Because of Keir's fragile immune system, they haven't left the house, not even for exercise, in four months. They haven't had any support. They care for Keir round the clock, through every day and the often broken nights. When things are delivered, they have to be left in the garage for 72 hours to make sure they're perfectly safe before they come into the house. Lockdown hasn't eased for them, and it isn't going to. Despite government advice changing next month, this week, Keir's immunologist warned Peter and V that because of Keir's health, they couldn't end lockdown anytime soon. In the last few years, Peter and V have worked with a nutritionist who's come up with a diet that has really helped Keir to protect his immune system, his gut health, and his neurological well-being. This, however, comes at a cost. It depends on specialist food and lots of pricey supplements. And the money to pay for Keir's diet and all his health needs is dwindling. I know this is a difficult time for many of you. Covid has caused so much chaos, unemployment and financial anxiety for people up and down the country. For many of you who will be watching this. But I want to ask, if you can, could you give a little something to help Peter, V, and Kia? Thank you so much.